What's up everybody on the Mangoose, you are awesome, and today we'll be talking about the various weapons to be found in Bullets Per Minute. Not only will I discuss how the weapons function, but I'll also be rating the weapons today by placing them in various tiers. Part of the skill of playing Bullets Per Minute is knowing what to save your money for. Maybe sometimes don't spend your coins on the various skill ups located around the game, but save them up for certain weapons. I'm going to tell you which weapons to do that with today. The baseline will be the semi-automatic starting pistol, and I'm going to put that at B tier, and then I'll judge the rest on whether or not I would trade that starting pistol for that weapon. Some of the weapons just aren't even as good as the starting gun, believe me. The guns don't have names, so I just kind of made up my own. Hopefully this is a complete list of the various weapons you'll find throughout the game. If you've run across one that I haven't, please let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed my content, please help me out by hitting that like button. But for now, let's get into starting with the Gaul's basic semi-automatic pistol. The semi-auto pistol has low damage, high capacity, and short range. It can fire on the half beat and has a two-step reload. The weapon can be good with the right items and stats, but it needs some work if you're going to get a full clear with this thing. The semi-auto is a B-tier weapon and you should upgrade if you can. The Magnum! It does medium damage, has medium capacity, and medium range. You can fire on the half beat, you can also reload on the half beat, but you have to load your rounds individually, making a full reload one of the longest in the game. You don't have to wait till this gun is fully loaded to fire though, which is nice. This is my personal favorite of the starting pistols. You can full clear with this with minimal stat upgrades. I will definitely take this one over the semi-auto. I rate the Magnum as an A tier weapon. The Shotgun Pistol. It has medium damage up close that falls off with distance, low capacity, and low range. You can fire on the half beat and it has a three step reload. This weapon isn't bad, but to get the full benefit from it, you have to get in close, which is never where you want to be with a shooter. I think it's about equal to the semi-auto. I'm putting this one at B tier. This one's kind of an odd one, but Njord's um, starting weapon, which is Kwong's hands. It has low damage, infinite range, infinite ammo, and you can fire on the half beat and there is no reload. Can't really compare this to the other weapons since you can't buy his hands, and when you play as him, you can't buy weapons. I do like using him though, if you can get the quarter note that allows you to fire two projectiles at a time, you'll be good to go for a full clear. I would put it as a B tier weapon. The sawed off double barrel, which is Odor's starting gun, I, I, don't know if, I don't know if I'm saying that right, they use an odd, kind of hard to read font in the game, and they're, they're strange names anyway, so... But anyway, it has very high damage up close that falls off, low range, low capacity, you can fire on the half note, and it has a two-step reload. This thing is vicious up close, but the low capacity combined with having to be in your target's face make it difficult to use. Try to invest in range and clip-ups if you get this one. I personally don't like it much, but it's the best of the shotguns, so I'll, I'll say it's B-tier. The BFG, the big fucking gun, my personal favorite weapon, very high damage, infinite range if you hit, and low capacity. You can only fire this one on the full beat and it has a 3 step reload. Once you get this thing, you're set for a full clear. It's a hit scan weapon if you actually hit your target, if not you still fire off like a weird little projectile. It hits hard as hell so there's no real need to invest in damage or range. The only thing you really need is some clip ups to increase the capacity. The BFG is an S-tier weapon. If it's offered to you, do whatever it takes to pick this one up. The Magazine-Fed Shotgun. This has high damage up close, medium range, medium capacity, and you can only fire on the full beat, but you can pump it on the half beat. It has a two-step reload. The shotguns in this game are ass. They fire slow and you have to be in close to get the full effect. I would not trade the semi-auto pistol for this thing. This is a C-tier weapon. The two blow shotgun, high damage up close, medium range, medium capacity. Just like with the mag fed shotgun, you can fire on the beat and pump another round on the half beat. You have to reload each shell individually, much like the magnum pistol. I like this one a little better than the mag fed shotgun because the base damage is higher, but it's still shit. C tier weapon. The chain gun, medium damage, long range, high capacity. This one fires a bit different than the others. You can hold the fire button down and it will wind up and spray rounds down range increasingly faster the longer you hold it. It has a 3 step reload. BPM is a game where you constantly need to reposition and fire on command. You can't do that with the chain gun. It looks cool, but it sucks. C tier weapon. The Dragon Maul Pistol. High damage, infinite range, infinite ammo. When you fire this, the entire pistol opens up like a mouth, waits a second, then fires a projectile. No need to reload. 
Maybe I'm missing something here, but this gun is absolute garbage. Worst weapon in the game. Please let me know if there's some secret to using it. It's slow as snail seam and the damage does not make up for it. This is some D-tier trash. The Energy Pistol. High damage, long range, infinite ammo. You can fire on the half beat and there is no reload. The weapon does overheat, but not for very long. While it can be odd getting used to suddenly firing projectiles instead of it being hit scan, the damage, fire rate, and infinite ammo more than make up for it. I love this thing. If you can get quarter note and the double damage shield, you'll shred everything with ease. S tier god gun. The rocket launcher. High damage, infinite range, medium capacity. You can only fire on the full beat. Each rocket needs to be reloaded individually. The rocket launcher can be fun since it has explosive rounds that are good for getting past shields, and you can also rocket jump by timing your jump with a rocket fired at the ground. You can shred bosses with the launcher, but the slow moving projectiles make it difficult to hit flyers. If you've played this game at all, you know that the flyers are the most dangerous enemy in the game. For that reason, I'd give this a C rating. I would not trade the starting pistol for this thing. The Assault Rifle has low damage, medium range, medium capacity. You can fire three rounds on every half beat, and it has a two-step reload. This is a pretty straightforward weapon. It doesn't really do anything that the base semi-auto pistol can't, but it's just better baseline, which means you don't have to put as many stats in it to make it work. Um, I'll call this A tier, but just barely. The Four Barrel Pistol. Very high damage, low range, low capacity. You can fire on the half beat, and it has a three-step reload. The quick damage you can pump out with this gun makes it one of my favorites and a certain upgrade to the baseline pistol. You will need to try and pick up some range whenever you can though. A solid A tier weapon. The Flat Cannon. High damage, medium range, medium capacity. You can only fire on the full beat and it has a 3 step reload. I thought this was a grenade launcher at first, but it functions more like a flat cannon. You fire off shells that explode midair. This can be great for taking down multiple flyers, but the limited range means that you'll have to do some dancing to get close enough to be effective with it in later levels. I would rather just have the pistol, for real. C tier weapon. The Energy Blaster. This is a medium damage, infinite range, infinite ammo. You can only fire on the full beat and there is no reload. This weapon is very rare and I don't know why because it sucks donkey balls. The energy projectiles it fires explode, which is nice, but trying to hit anything that flies is a nightmare. The damage isn't great either. I would expect something with so many shortcomings to deal much, much more damage. D tier. Don't waste your time with this thing. The Claw Launcher. Insanely high damage, infinite range, very low capacity. You can only fire on the full beat and it has a two step reload. Again, I don't know why the rarest guns in the game are so bad. Baseline, this thing has one round. It fires a projectile that explodes on a delay once you connect with your target. You can use it to launch yourself into the air, which is fun, but the slow projectile combined with the delay damage makes it very difficult to use. Crazy damage ain't enough to bring this weapon out of D-tier hell. That's all the weapons I know of. Let me know if you disagree with my assessments or if I got anything wrong here. And please let me know if you stumbled across any other weapons in the game. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you're enjoying BPM. But for now, this is the Mangu signing off. You guys have a good one. Man, goo.